Well, Jacob, a fantastic 3-2 win over Charlton today. Exactly the same scoreline as last year and exactly the same sort of game you played in that one. How was it today? Yeah, I think it was very similar to last year. Um, I think first half we were excellent. Um, we could have been two or three up and they had one chance at the end, scored it. So we went in 1-1 one, one and, and in a um, change room, we kind of spoke to each other, the gaffer spoke and we just said, listen, it's there for us boys. And um, yeah, the boys are excellent for 90 minutes and, and we managed to get the win, yeah. I've watched you all season, obviously, I've watched for a few seasons, but when that goal went in at half time, I had a thought that we've seen this before and the lads have, you know, the heads have dropped. That didn't happen today. No, I think because of the last three games, um, we've built up a real, real solid kind of thought process. We stick together. We're, we're not like killing ourselves in games since the Barnsley game. We've been in every game that we've played. Um, so we just got in at half time. We spoke to each other. Everyone was calm, composed. And then we just came out second half and tried our best. And, and Cole was at his, his best today. And Gents was running like crazy. Every, everyone was, was top class, yeah. As a defender, it must be so nice for you to see Cole do that again. Yeah, I remember um, Cambridge away last year, he put one in the, in the postage stamp and I was right behind it. And then today I was right behind that first one as well. And when I saw that go in, I was, uh, yeah, I was happy. <laughs> again, very similar to last year. They did put some pressure on you towards the end, but as a defence, you held pretty firm. Yeah, um, we, we were resolute. The midfield were excellent in front of us, kept working all game. And uh, when you're 3-1 at a place like this, it's always going to be, the pressure's going to pile up like it did last year. The same happened this year. And it's just about staying firm as a team, working hard, managing the game. And I think our game management today, after we went, after it went 3-2, I, I thought we were really good. Two wins from two. Two games to go. You're in this, aren't you? Yeah, well, it's seven from nine. Um, so we've got momentum now. Um, and we've just got to keep that going. Obviously, it's going to be bouncing at, um, at home next Saturday. Um, and we've just got to go out there and, and do what we've done these last two games. When the pressure's on, we just need to perform and stay composed, stay relaxed and, and just do our job. I remember speaking to you quite a while back and you said, we've got a squad to do this this year. And uh, at the minute, you've proven that's the case. Yeah, I think from the start of the year, I thought the squad that, that was assembled was more than good enough to stay in this league. Um, I think there's been games in this, in this season where we could have won, we could have snatched more points. Um, but then there's other games where we've let ourselves down. But I think these last three, we've really shown what we're about. We've stuck together. The group of lads is one of the best I've ever been involved with. So there's a belief there and, and we've just got to go into these next two games with positive mindsets and, and try and get those points that we need. Lincoln City home next week. That's going to be a massive game, isn't it, for everyone? Yeah, it's a, it's a big game. They're all big games at this, this time of the year when we're in the position we're in. Um, we've given, given ourselves a really good chance now, a fighting chance. And uh, three weeks ago, people wouldn't have been saying that. So we've just got to stay composed, stay calm, and go out there next Saturday and, and get those three points again. <laughs>